Let's first take a check on the two sides, starting with England with David Seaman in goal. Paul Parker's greater experience got him the place in front of Rob Jones, who just had two caps. Tony DiRigo replacing the injured Stuart Pearce, a vital job for those fullbacks against two swift Dutch wingers. Carlton Palmer, Paul Ince and Lee Sharp form the midfield with David Platt taking the role of Paul Gascoigne just behind the striking partnership of Alan Shearer and Paul Merson. It was thought that Merson might play on the right of midfield, but Graham Taylor has suggested that Merson's ability to run at defenders and to pick up Platt as well might just give him the edge. Ian Wright, therefore, is amongst the subs. As for the Dutch, De Hoy in goal, Ronald Koeman, their captain and sweeper, De Wolf and Frank De Boer, the markers, Rijkaard and Wouters, the vital elements for them in midfield. Overmars and Roy are those two quick wingers I was talking about. Bergkamp, the brilliant player from Inter Milan. They, we think he might play just behind the other De Boer. That's Ronald, the twin brother of the defender. Overmars, he's already been a problem tonight. Now, how will Dorigo hold him? He's gone past Dorigo again, gets it across. And Bergkamp over the top. A glorious opportunity there for Holland. Again, made for them by this man, Mark Overmars. Just touched back there by Roy and slammed over the top to England's relief by Dennis Bergkamp. Letter for the lifetime, that wasn't it? And you would have bet money on this fella scoring. Roy's got the better of him. Will it stay in play? It has, and Brian Roy's on his way. De Boer waiting in the middle. Bergkamp coming up fast. Here's Dennis Bergkamp again. Trying to get it wide there. And straight into the arms of Seaman that time from Jan Walters. My ideal way of playing against him there would be to, to say to Ince, you go and sit on him. Go and, go and lock Bergkamp out the game for a little bit because he is a key player for them. But of course, we're unbalanced on the right-hand side. It means Palmer then will be playing against three of their other midfield players. That's the problem, I think, with playing the shape we're playing in talking to Graham earlier today, I certainly got the impression that that was to be Ince's role, that he was going to look after uh, Bergkamp. But here's a good break. Now David Platt, pushed away by De Groy. Lee Sharp getting it forward, up to Merson. Oh, and he's got the better of De Wolf. He's got Shearer in the middle, still with Merson. Just wide, a fantastic drive there by Paul Merson. Oh, wins it in the air. Paul Ince for England. Shearer. Ince knocking it on. Back to De Hoy. Free kick up to England now. That's the worst part of his game, isn't it? We've seen the best part of his game. Um, Koeman's coming forward and having shots. That's the worst part when he's got to go and engage somebody and go and make uh, defensive work. Dorigo looking uh, the likely candidate here. Merson there also behind the ball. And Ince obviously had some trouble with that shoulder. Now, Tony Dorigo, can he rifle one in from this range? Oh, against the post! Fantastic drive there by Dorigo. Well, that's an absolute brilliant effort. Gets a slight deflection as well off one of the England players. Hits the outside of the post. I mean, England have actually... England, although they, they, the other sides dominate the game, Holland, England have actually had the three best shots. Matt trying to turn it wide there. Tony Adams. Oh, kicked off the line. And England now, really, with three or four excellent chances. Graham Taylor sits back there, can't believe it, and knocked off the line there when it looked a certainty that Tony Adams was going to score. Omar's. Batters against the German referee, and then knocks it wide for Irvin Koeman. Roy for Holland. Parker backing off him. And the end gets it through, and again Berg camps over the top. But again, you see him sitting in that little position just deep of his strikers. Um, we all got attracted to the ball. 
You see, I think Paul Ince has got attracted the ball. I think he was going to go and try and help Parker out instead of just staying disciplined and picking up the danger men in the middle of the box. Last five minutes of the first half, still nil-nil. Remember, England want at least a draw from this game. The Dutch need a victory. Oh, there's Reichardt coming in, but the flag is up! The flag is up! It won't count. It won't count. The Dutch will be disappointed. A great run from the midfield by Frank Reichardt. Oh, my goodness. He wasn't offside. He wasn't offside. I must confess, Brian, my gut feeling, and sometimes you go by that, was as he timed his run, I thought, we're in trouble here. And we've had the, we've had a, we've had the luck of a flag there, that's for sure there. Alters gets it away. Alistair knocks it in. A bit of space here, possibly, for Platt. No, Reichardt stabs this one away. Erkamp on the charge now. The ball up ahead of him, over miles one side. Burkamp. Roy Parker's at it. Roy picks up Burkham, picks up the ball, picks up Burkham going. No, Tony Adams is there that time. That's mine, he said. Shearer. Sinton. Can Platt get there first? Platt can get there first for England. That's got to be a penalty. Penalty given for England. The Dutch are claiming outside. The referee looked hard at the linesman. The linesman said inside. No. Has he given a penalty? A yellow card has gone to uh, Donald Coleman. I think he's changed his mind. He's changed his mind and given a free kick outside. Ryan, is that not a sending off offence under the rules of the game? Absolutely. Let's just determine first, though. That's got to be, hasn't it? I that's, mean, that's he's a penalty. through with a clear goal scoring opportunity. Red card. He's given a yellow. More important, has he not get... No, he's given a free kick, I think, Ron. I think he's given a free kick. Graham Taylor oh, can't believe it. He's well, being shepherded back. Well, the linesman have played an important part in this game, haven't they? And to well, be fair, the linesman there, he's dead in line. He actually should have taken the onus off the referee there. But you then saw, I mean, David Platt was always second favourite for the ball when it was yeah. there. You then saw uh, Koeman's sheer lack of pace. I mean, he's, he hasn't got the right to do that when he's defending. So, England's free kick. Mercy. Dorigo charged down by a wall of orange. Well, the Dutch were robbed in the first half when Reichardt's goal was disallowed. England robbed of something there. Oh, that was a bad challenge there by Irving Koeman on Paul Parker. That was a disgraceful challenge on the England fullback. There it is again. My goodness. Bouters again. A flick on again. Bouters going all the way through. What's he given this time? You could never tell with this referee. The Dutch are saying it was just inside. He has taken the option of saying it was just outside. That, I must say, did look inside to me. But... I think the English lads are actually thinking no, he's it right. probably he's wasn't probably a foul. Probably right. He's probably right. Actually, it was outside. If it was a foul, it was outside. If was Palace, it a foul? Palliser gets the first lunge. In actual fact, the second touch is the touch on the ball. But make no mistake about it, we're not yet out of the wood. Because Rob McCormick is up behind this one. And what an iron it would be if he scored with this when he really should have been off the field. Coleman with the free kick for Holland. A vital moment as two sides look for a place in the World Cup Finals. The first goal could be so vital. Is that wall lined up? Can Seaman get a side of it? Koeman with a shot, charged down by Ince. Bergkamp tries to get it in. I don't think... I think possibly Ince will get a yellow card because he was not within... He got within 10 yards, so Koeman gets a reprieve for the second time. And gets another free kick, Ron. As a manager, you think that's brilliant defending from Ince. Ince is the charger. Ince has come out and blocked the shot out, full of bravery. Now he's been punished for it. So come on, England. Let's see if we can hold it out again. Again, it's Ronald Koeman. Again, the problem is there. Again, it's a critical moment. He's going to flip one now. He's going to flip one. He's going to flip one. And it's in.
Well, I feel nothing but sympathy for Graham Taylor, I must say. And we also look and see there's half an hour, or close on half an hour to go, and we know that England can make chances. It's just a question, can we cash in on one? I mean, I think the worst thing now is if we can go, if, if we allow them to score again. I think Ian Wright's about to make his entrance. All the subs are warming, but I shouldn't yeah. be surprised to see Ian Wright on soon. Well, the Rigo behind this one again. Person hitting it as well against the post. That's twice England have cracked the Dutch post. And the Dutch leading our goal to nil. Roy. Berkamp. Back to Berkamp. Nice little one-two. Berkamp! Fantastic save by Seaman. Oh, two absolutely brilliant pieces of goalkeeping there by the big Arsenal goalkeeper. First from Burkamp, and then what looked an absolute certainty when Reichardt was on the follow-up. Again, Seaman producing a miracle save there for England. Brian, if we can get through now, if we can equalise, and that, that save could give us the inspiration, that could well go down as famous as Banks's in, um, in where was it, in Mexico, wasn't it? 1970. Wright's getting uh, stripped off now. Graham Taylor was saying that he hasn't picked him, but he's always good to have to explode from the bench. That's just what we need from Ian right now. Up goes De Wolf and gets it clear. Tony Dorigo now for England. Long range shot. My goodness, that wasn't far away. And De Hoy lost it somewhere in, the, in flight. We think it's Merson who might well be coming off an Arsenal man for an Arsenal man. I just wonder whether he might be tempted to push Merson onto the left-hand side, you know. Keep Shearer on, who's playing quite well. We think it might be Merson coming off, Ron. He's definitely coming off. I just wonder whether he may have done that, because Merson... Oh, Berkamp. Oh, this is trouble now. It's there by Berkamp. 2-0. Seaman who just pulled off two incredible saves in the minute before him and couldn't do anything about this one and Burkham whose form has been uh, so poor for Inter Milan certainly rediscovered the touch there Roy it's back to Roy again Burkham waiting in the middle right pass waiting in the middle Roy with the cross all oh, right across the face of the goal so close to conceding a third as Reichardt came in at the far post. I mean, that might have been his hat trick, Reichardt, might it? He, that's a lovely low cross, and there's indecision there and all sorts. Reichardt, who's supposed to be playing as a wing back, probably had more chances than any other player on the field to score goal. It's over. the future may hold for him we don't know what we do know is that England are on the receiving end of a rank bad refereeing decision here tonight which was the absolute turning point of the whole day Gren, I've watched you at close quarters in quite a few games. I don't think I've ever seen you so angry with the officials. Well, listen, they can interpret it as a free kick or a penalty. That's up to them. Think about uh, Wembley in Holland, when Walker got hold of the fella outside. There we have a Danish referee that gives a penalty. Now, not only that, if they're de determining that is a free kick, FIFA amend the regulations of the law of this game, and they insist that players are dismissed when a, 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 a player... Looks Here it is him, again, Graham. Gets hold of him. Yeah, he's got hold of him there and then now you go back to Wembley now that's there now even if they decide it's a free kick or a penalty that blonde man should not be on the pitch that is a FIFA rule it's an amendment to the rule and the referee today has not applied the, lo the laws of the game as we apply them honestly and openly in our country 